Hello, boys and girls. So excited to see you again this morning or whenever you're watching this video. I cannot wait to go on another journey around the city as we learn more and more about the armor of God. But before we do that, we are going to get up on our feet, praise God together. Everybody, welcome to the city, and it's so nice to meet you. I love living in the city. There's something here for everybody, from museums to shows, skate parks, and even dog parks. I mean, there's no other place I would rather be. I mean, where can you get a hot dog from a cart on a corner and pay to have your picture taken with your favorite movie character three blocks up? You can even ride the elevator to the 104th floor of a skyscraper and see three, yes, three different states. I mean, everybody in the city has got somewhere to go and there's no shortage of transportation. But what's crazy is that most people here don't even own cars. They walk, ride the subway, take a taxi, or even a bus. I mean, that's what I do. But the bus that I ride isn't just any ordinary bus. No way, who has time for that? The bus is full of fun and here it comes right now. Yes, today's game is called City Sounds. Who's ready to play? 
Okay, everyone, get quiet and listen. If you think you know the answer, go ahead and yell it out. Okay, okay, that was an easy one. It was a car horn. All right, let's hear the next sound. Everyone, get quiet and listen. Now, this one is a little trickier. Do you think you know what that sound was? Okay, if you guessed a subway train zooming by, then you got it. We've got one more sound to hear in the city today. Okay, everyone, get quiet and listen. Man, that was a really good guess. That was actually our fun bus putting on the brakes. That's a really common sound that you'll hear in the city. City life is just the best. And not because there are a million things to see and do. What really makes this place special are all of the different people who live here. There are people who like to eat steak and others who like to eat sushi. People who work in tall buildings and people who work in the subway. Some people really like listening to rap while some others enjoy opera. Really, when I think about it, my favorite thing is that everyday people make up this city. And my favorite of those people is our award-winning reporter, Joe Miller. She goes into the streets to find something really great about people who bring this city to life. Hey, you know what? It looks like our show is starting right now. Here, let's tune in. Hey there, folks. I'm Joe Miller, coming to you live each and every day as I take to the streets to give you all the deets. Today is going to be the most fun. We are going to meet Allison McCall. She's basically a world famous cupcake chef extraordinaire. Let's go get that story straight from the source. excited to be here. Look at this deliciousness. Hey Joe, cool to have you in the kitchen with me today. I'm whipping up a batch of cupcakes right now. Okay, so the viewers want to know, how do you do it? Your cupcakes are all anyone wants to talk about and eat. Sounds like you want to try one. Here, help yourself. Oh yes, please. Okay, so tell us a little about yourself. I've always loved creating recipes and baking cupcakes, so I thought, why not start a YouTube channel? Hey guys, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. That's awesome. And I will say, after reporting the news for so long, I've learned you really need to be careful online. You can't just click on any old video. There's lots of stuff out there that we are not supposed to see. You're exactly right. When I was building my channel, I had to be really careful with what I clicked on. Sometimes things weren't what they said they were gonna be. As a tip for everyone watching, always ask an adult to help when searching the web. And if you have a bad feeling about something or see anything that seems wrong, let them know right away. You are so right, Allison. Internet safety is extremely important. So tell us more about your channel. Well, I wanted to create a channel where anyone and everyone could follow along and make cupcakes of their very own. After making a few videos, I noticed I was getting a lot of comments and shout outs from the viewers. Most of them were really great, but some of them were not so nice. Who could say anything bad about these amazing cupcakes? Well, a couple of viewers started leaving comments saying I wasn't good at baking and that none of these recipes were actually mine. Well, please tell us that you didn't believe what they were saying. For a minute, I did, but then I realized I had to replace their lies with God's truth. You see, the devil was using tricky people to come against me, hoping that I would listen and stop doing what God made me to do. Well, it sounds like you had to put on the belt of truth for that one. That's exactly right. I know it's important to put on the full armor of God every single day. And the piece of armor that helped me the most was the belt of truth. The belt of truth helps all of us believe the truth that God says about us. And it sounds like it helped you so much with those mean comments. It totally did. Now my YouTube channel has tons of subscribers and is a huge success. And I even have a real bakery of my very own. So people can watch my show to learn how to make cupcakes or just swing by and pick one up right here. Best of both worlds. I 
love it. Well, I am so glad you used the belt of truth. If you would have believed those lies people said about you, we wouldn't be enjoying these tasty treats today. Thanks for letting us visit. Stop by any time. There will always be a cupcake with your name on it. Yes, thanks. Well, that's it for us today. Join us next time for Joe on the Go. I can't wait to see who we will meet next. Thanks, Joe. I love finding out more about people who use their everyday armor to make this super city special. And those cupcakes look amazing. Let's talk about some of the things that Joe and Allison said. I'm gonna ask some questions and if you think you know the answers, just shout them out. My first question is about the piece of God's armor that Allison talked about. Do you remember what it was called? That's right, Allison told us that she has to put on all of God's armor every day, but the piece that really helps her in her job is the belt of truth. Why is it so important to wear the belt of truth every day? It's important to wear the belt of truth because there are a lot of lies and tricks floating around out there, and the enemy would love nothing more for you to fall for them. But when we wear the belt of truth, we can separate what God says is true from the lies of the world and the enemy and stand firm against them. One last question. What can we read to learn what God says is true? You got it, the Bible tells us what the truth is, but sometimes it's even just that yucky feeling in our stomach telling you what you're seeing, hearing, or doing isn't right. That feeling in your pit is God's Holy Spirit and His way of helping you know that you need to put on the belt of truth. Every piece of God's armor is completely invisible, but that doesn't mean it's not real. Even though we can't see God's armor, when we put on His armor every single day, it will make us strong and give us God's power. I've got a symbol for each piece of God's armor that will help you remember what it's for. There are six pieces. The first piece of armor that God has given us is the belt of truth. Then there's God's armor of godliness and the good news boots. We need the shield of faith and the helmet of salvation and don't forget the sword of the spirit. When we put on the full armor of God, we'll be able to stand strong against any evil that comes our way. Look, the devil will try to trick us and lie to us. And that's why it's important to make sure we've got on the belt of truth. And that's what we're learning today. Everyone stand up so that we can say this and know this together. Put on the belt of truth. All right, yeah, come on. Put on the belt of truth. We need all of this armor because just like Joe said earlier, there's some really tricky people out there and we need to know how to spot the lies and remember the truth. Here, you know what? Check out this Bible story so we know why it's important to wear the belt of truth. Even though you can't see it, there's a spiritual battle taking place between God and the devil over the hearts of each person on earth. Since the beginning of time, God has been fighting for people to know who he is and how much he loves them. When God created the world we live in, there were two people named Adam and Eve. They lived in the Garden of Eden, and they were friends with God. God gave Adam and Eve everything they needed and told them that they could eat anything growing in the garden except for the food growing on one tree, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God warned Adam and Eve that if they did eat from that tree, they would die. The Bible tells us that Adam and Eve had a very real enemy who wanted to twist that truth into a major lie. Their enemy was the devil, and because the devil can take on many forms, he came as a sneaky, sneaky snake. The snake came to Eve and asked her what God said about the fruit in the garden. Eve told him that God said if she ate from the tree, she would die. But the snake convinced Eve that that was a lie. He said, you won't die if you eat the fruit you'll know things that you've never known before. Eve listened to the snake's lie and got distracted from the truth. Not only did Eve eat a piece of fruit, she also gave some to Adam. Right away they realized they had done something wrong. God punished them because of what they had done and made them leave the garden where they had been living. Adam and Eve chose to believe the lie that the devil told them over the truth that God had for them. At that moment, evil and death entered the world and we're still battling them today. When we remember God's word, we put on the belt of truth. It is the part of God's armor that gives us the power to stand up against the lies that come our way. So when we hear things like, no one loves you, or you'll never be enough, we can know those are lies. God loves us, and because of that, 
He's given us all the tools we need to fight the enemy and win. With the belt of truth, we'll be able to detect lies and overcome them with God's powerful truth. We can put on the belt of truth. This story is so important because it helps us to understand that our enemy will do anything he can to make us believe the lie. But God has given us everything we need to fight the devil and defeat all his lies. It's called the belt of truth. We find the truth in God's word. It tells us who God is and what he says and how much he loves us. When we know what God says, we'll be able to spot when the devil is lying to us. So when you put on the belt of truth, no lie that the enemy tries to tell you can destroy you. Now, you might be wondering what it looks like to put on God's armor in real life. Well, I have an example for you. Someone who has done it. Here, take a look at this picture of Maisie. Maisie is a kid, just like you. Maisie tries her best to put on each piece of God's armor every day. As you can see, she's using her phone, and today it's especially important that she has on the belt of truth. That's because a girl in her class just sent her a really mean text. The text said something hurtful and not true about Maisie. Because Maisie has on the belt of truth, she can remember what God says about her and know that the text is not true. Maisie knows that she needs God's armor in order to stand strong every day. Just like Maisie, you too can put on the belt of truth. When we put on the full armor, the enemy doesn't stand a chance. Okay, now we're going to put on the armor together. So here, check out this video. Every day, I will wear the full armor of God. I put on the belt of truth so I can fight the devil's lies. I put on the armor of godliness to protect my heart and do what's right. I put on the good news boots so I'll be ready to show God's love all day. I hold up the shield of faith to block anything the enemy sends my way. I put on the helmet of salvation so I'll remember God will always love me. I use the sword of the Spirit because God's word is my best weapon against the enemy. Now I stand firm and pray. Great! Now we are all armored up. We have to put on the belt of truth. When we do, we'll be able to spot the enemy's lies and tricks and defeat them with the truth from God's word. All through the Bible, we see people using worship as a weapon to defend themselves against the enemy. That's because when we worship God, we're declaring that God is more powerful than anything and anyone else who would try to harm us. We don't have to fear one bit. God is always with us. And when we put his full armor on, the enemy doesn't stand a chance. Now we can stand firm in the armor of God and pray, which is exactly what we're going to do together right now. Everyone, let's bow your head so we can pray together. Dear God, thank you for giving us your armor. Help us remember to put on each and every piece so that we can stand firm against the devil's lies and tricks. We know you are greater than anything that we face, and we love you. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Remember, we've got God's power with us, and we're ready to face anything that the devil would ever throw our way. And speaking of facing things, I'm getting ready to throw my face in a pool of jello. All right, okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye.